Hello, welcome to the video for what is the main material, the usage property. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this quick little example. On the left we have our detail panel and down here we have our usage property section. The usage property section as you can see by default is going to come with a lot of options and nothing checked. This basically determines the different variations or permutations of your shader based on how it's going to be used. By default, nothing's going to be checked because the editor doesn't know how you're going to use it. And it's going to be your cleanest shader, basically. It's going to have the least amount of options. Now, for this example, I've gone ahead and just simply colored, hooked up this green into our base color and gone ahead and hit apply. Now we have our base shader. If I hit save, you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's going to give our different stats and it's going to let you know Take 60 instructions for dynamic lighting. So, in our scene here, I have a static light source. Let's switch this over to a static light source. And I've gone ahead and I have a two pieces, a ground and a cube. So, looking at this, you can see nothing is enabled. If I was to take, put this material on my floor, we're going to see that nothing happens. Well, right now, this shader is actually recompiling based on what I've applied it to. It's checking to see if we have a shader compiled for use in a static mesh, because that's what my floor is. And if not, it is recompiling the shader to be used with a static mesh. If you look up here, there is a little asterisk. It may be hard to see, but there's an asterisk next to the name. That means my shader has changed. It needs to be resaved. If you notice, we now have green on the floor. And if I go back into my shader, we can actually see the save button needs to be clicked. Now the asterisk will go away. And if we look down here under usage, we can see it's now enabled, used with static lighting. Well, what happened is down here in this little show advanced, there's a checkbox that's enabled by default called automatically set usage and editor. Basically, every time you use this material, if this option is enabled, the material is going to automatically recompile if it needs to and have a different usage model enabled as needed. So to show this in effect again, at the top we have used with skeletal mesh unchecked. My box right here is a skeletal mesh. If I was to put this on here, we're going to see a couple things happen. One, my existing shader is no longer valid because it has changed. So this shader is no longer valid and you see no green. We see compiling shaders, and we actually see right now no shader is being used. If we go and wait a few seconds, my shader will compile. It's going to go ahead and finish. We're going to see it change over to green for both the floor and my skeletal mesh. You also notice on our material, it has the asterisk indicating it needs to be saved again, and you'll now notice it says used with skeletal mesh. So it went ahead and detected that I am going to need to use this on a skeletal mesh, and it went ahead and enabled that usage option. You'll also notice down here, we have different settings in terms of our number of instructions needed based on static and dynamic lighting. And this is based on the fact we've told it to be used with static lighting now. So we now have different versions of our shader. We have different amounts of instructions needed on the shader based on what we're going to use it for. Now, usage should be left at a minimum based on what you intend on using it for. It's not normally an issue unless you've removed a shader from an option or accidentally put it on something like I just did where it enabled the skeletal mesh. Let's say that was an accident. Okay, well, I didn't actually want that on there. I wanted this one on there. If we go back to our main material now, we only intended this to be used on a static item not a skeletal mesh. However, even though I've removed it, the shader does not know, the material does not know it shouldn't be used on a skeletal mesh anymore. So you're going to find it now has that option enabled still. You're going to want to go ahead and uncheck it and reapply it. That way it'll recompile and not have the skeletal mesh option. The other option, of course, if you know what you're doing or you want full control over this, just disable automatically set usage and editor and go ahead and you can determine based on these options what's going on. Now, when you do that, the nice thing is Unreal will give you errors when you try to use it where you're not supposed to. So if we went ahead and put this on here, 
you notice it's not working. If we go back into here in our shader, you'll notice it's not working. The reason why it's not working is we do not have it enabled for our static lighting. If we enabled it, applied it, it'll recompile it. It's going to go ahead and work on our static lighting, which is our floor here, and we're going to be good to go again. And you'll notice if I went ahead and tried to do it anyways, like unchecked it on an item, we'll have an error down here, and it tells you this material is on something that is static lighting, but you're using a shader that is not enabled for static lighting, and it'll give you that error. You know, we could always go ahead and just change this to movable. You can make your lighting set as movable so it's no longer static, and that you can fix that as well. So the usage section basically, by default, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave it on automatic. Let the editor, it's intelligent enough to know when and where it should be used. Let it go ahead and recompile as needed. And basically it is a performance section. Just leave it alone. If you accidentally have an issue, feel free to go ahead and when you're going to build out your final game, browse through your usage section, make sure it's set up appropriately. The more checks you have here, the more cost there will be associated with the shader. So you want this at a minimum for what is needed. So that is the usage property section for the main material. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below.